Hey everybody, the bond is back. Welcome to part 6 of Let's Play Ty the Tasmanian Tiger 3, Knight of the Quincan. I can't wait for this Let's Play is done so I can actually Let's Play something else with a much shorter game title. So, as you can see, after going through the arena a few times, I have over 20,000 opals. Now I can finally afford the uh, ring chassis, which is... You can I was the best one. Things. See ya, Ty. So what I like to do is I like to remove all the earth stones here. Then I can go ahead and equip this one, which is gonna get me a lot. So I'm thinking two earth stones is enough. A magnet stone would also be good. You know what? We'll take an ultra stone. I'll take a multi-stone, and what else should I take? Should I take an air stone? No, don't take an air stone, because then these will be cancelled out. Fire stone also cancels out. Okay, so I should not take any element, then. I'm only going to be using five out of six stones currently. Unless... I can actually take something off of this. I'll take off the Mega Stone. But I'll probably keep the Ultra Stone on this. And you know, let's put another Air Stone here. Can you actually have, like, a Mega Stone on top of this too? Yes, you can. I love that bell. Hit multiple enemies in one throw. Okay, I'm like I like that. Ultra Stone allows you to see hidden platforms. Which seems like a very weird thing it can see do. It, Ty. So I could probably use the rest of my uh, stones. Or the rest of my opals for more uh, stones. So that'll be pretty cool, I guess. Oh yeah, this looks much more badass with how fast it can go. Also, while I was smashing crates, it turns out there was a uh, photo here. Also, what the hell are you? I've been stuck in this suit forever. I can't reach the back to find the zip. I'm busting. Well, just go in the suit. No one will notice. They're lizards. They're too busy doing lizard things. Oh, I guess I have to throw the rank to get the magnetism. Oh, it doesn't magnetize that well. I thought it did way better than that. So already this stone lied to me. Unless I need more magnet stones on it. Which I probably do. What do you mean I never hit this button? Not the one out of five. Where am I gonna find the rest of them now? Oh, there's another one up here. Thank God the explosion activates it too. So unfortunately, the magnetism for this is pretty weak. That kind of sucks. But I guess it's to be expected. They didn't want it too powerful. Hi, party boy. That's not my name. Party is not a real name. That's a thing you do. I am leaving. So I guess I gotta go on to the next mission, which is Wrath of the Dragon Quinn. I can't believe I gotta go through all this. Like, all the things I've been doing. Especially for Boss Cass. And it's gonna culminate with, uh, slaying a dragon. If I wanted to slay a dragon, I would just do another stream of Skyrim. 
I'm not looking to do that right now. Like, one playthrough of that was enough for me. Not that I hated Skyrim, but it's like a long time. And I don't really bother to use mods on it, so it wouldn't be exciting then, either. Can I get to where I need to be over here? I think I can. Wait, that looks like a waterfall. I guess I can get to the other side of it. Is that how it's gonna work? It looks like I'm on near a dam. Speaking of which, damn those sharks are after my ass! I think if I had a third Earth Stone, I bet you the explosion would get even bigger. I'm dying to find out if that's true. I'm pretty sure it's really the enemies that are going to be doing the dying, not me. I guess I gotta stay underwater if I want to deal with the sharks much better. They're still very annoying to fight. Unless you can throw the exploding rings back there. From up on top. See if I can go that way or just go right into the water, but I could do this. They're after my goo boo juice. I knew they wanted it. It took me hundreds of time to make. So I won't let them have it. Will you help me keep it? I'll give you some of those things you like. Half now, half later. A half even later than that. You're okay, fairy dino buddy. Oh, uh, a free zoom stone? Uh, sure. Apparently that was a collectible. I remember looking for that guy in a uh, tie too an awful lot. Also, what the hell is that? That is a very large marine creature. Can I ride this thing? I don't think I can. Getting rid of the sharks really did nothing for me. Because there's another one right there. How the hell are you supposed to get up there? So throwing a... Uh... Can I get in its mouth? No. It looks like a Darius boss. <laughs> Is it going to be another one of those cases where invisible platforms exist and I could have... Opt on them to get the chromium orb. No. Honestly, it's just pointless to me because I'm just getting skins out of it. Wait, saying I need to go this way. I forgot to go over here. He thinks I should go do that now. Ah, damn it! And I felt like I didn't even lose health there. Oh, there's an orb on the wing! I think I can get that one. While it's there. It will let me land on the plane, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, well, I got that one. Oh, and I see uh, another bag of opals here. 500 to be exact. Good to see you, sir. 
Now, we don't know too much about the Dragon Quinn's capabilities, but never fear, we have found out that they're just like regular Quinkin, only bigger, tougher, stronger, and much more deadly. And it's gotten word you're coming and has attacked Cassopolis. Should be a piece of cake then. Glad you think so, sir. To be honest, I was rather dreading this one somewhat. I should never tell you anything ever again. Why do I still talk to you? Oh, there it is! Maybe I should get a power-up for this. <laughs> Okay, how the hell do I deal with this thing? I guess just fly behind it? Okay, really what I should do is don't get too close to it when it's looking right at me. And if you have the shields, you should really just take advantage of them more than I did. Okay, this is an interesting fight, I guess. Oh! Try, try aiming for its tail. Well, it was trying to do that, but a cutscene happened. Oh, of course it's gonna fly away from me now that I actually had the chance to uh, get some hits on it. Oh, good old collision damage. So really, the only thing I can hit is the tail. That's a bit annoying to have to deal with. Oh, the missiles may not reach. And my missiles are gone. God damn it. I still have plenty in the tank. Wait, well, I blew up, but the cutscene still played. What? Hey, where'd it go? <laughs> I started playing the damage delivered to me later. That was weird. What? That laser is still going? He's gonna try to swoop in and hit me from below, isn't it? Come on, fly back up, you coward. Thank you. I knew you'd take the bait! Alright, I just gotta stalk it a little bit more. Nice. Good old evasive maneuvers. What? Why did I count as two hits in a row? Oh great, now it's just... Now it's just doing that shit. Now it tries to stick to you no matter what. And then I can't really just take advantage. 
It just goes right ahead of me and hits me anyway. I don't exactly have a good view of it either. Fuck! <laughs> and then it goes back down! Okay, now they not only made the fight boring, and now they made it bad. Okay, I think I just clipped it on the wing once. What? How did that kill me? I thought I had more health than that. Now it just feels like it's gonna go way slower. Okay. It seems just slamming the brakes and just using the shields to your advantage. Makes a world of difference. Fuck you! It better not be resetting its health when I die. And that time it hit! You get no iframe, so one little collision could actually do 100% damage. Oh my god. Yeah, I am getting destroyed in one collision now. Now I can't do anything! Alright, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on its health to see if it actually is getting more. Every time I die. I pray it isn't. Oh, max health. Oh, nice. Oh, wait, why am I not using the bombs? Why have I forgotten that bombs exist? doing this fight a little bit faster. Now I gotta wait for it to stalk me so I can use the bombs. Okay, I might be able to win this now. There! It's over! Dragon Buster. but we might not be for long. We've got to get back to Bush Rescue. 
You're never going to believe this. Amazing! So the Quinkin are just preparing the way for the Quinking. That's right. And there's some kind of weapon to defeat him hidden in southern rivers. There's a legend about a mysterious lizard that lives in the outback town of Thylacine. Now, it's said he knows all about the Quinkin. The legendary mysterious lizard who knows all about the Quinkin has gone missing. Mum? Dad! <gasps> Look, Bry! The boys are here! Did you just say the Quinkin expert is missing? We really have to find him. Okay. Come with me, love. I'll show you where he was last seen. <coughs> Wait for me. I am not gonna let you have all the fun. I hope those naughty Quinkin didn't steal him away. Don't get too worried just yet. He's a very mysterious character. He'll be a lot more than mysterious if the Quinkin find them before we do. Mate, we don't have time to stuff around with this one. Finding this Quinkin expert is our only chance of stopping the Quinkin. Shaz is waiting for you in the last place that he was seen. I don't need to remind you what'll happen if we fail. The fate of Southern Rivers is on your shoulders. No pressure or anything. Hasn't it always been? <laughs> That's why you guys went downhill after I was gone for six months. Anyway, let me go buy some things while I'm here. What else should I buy before I get a move on? What would really serve Ty in this situation? Oh, what would serve Ty? A Thai restaurant. <laughs> Wait, what? Hello, my little cub. Oh, so I guess if I want to get the really good stuff, I have to go to Boss Cass's place. Don't really want to do that. I'll get the Team <laughs> Chrome shorts. You'll come and see us again soon. Also, how do I go... Oh, there we go. Sure. And you know what? This could use a new coat of paint, too. And do I have anything for you? Yes. I have to play that jingle every time. That's funny. Hey, bro. Wait, wasn't there like a wall I could have blown up here? I know there was. Here it is. Got another Firestone. I pretty much have enough of those, so... Sure. It's another one for the collection. Alright, let's see here. Where do I need to go next? Is there another overworld connected to this one? Certainly looks like it. Now I just need to go this way. Or maybe this was the same one that I took. And now there's just a different way. So, let's just get this over with. Man, it doesn't feel good when there's, like, lots of enemies around and you're better off just ignoring them completely. Like, usually good combat makes it fun to fight the enemies and this is not really fun. And that's a damn shame. You'd think they would have made a step up from Ty too, and it doesn't didn't really do that. So out of the three Ty games that I've played, like if you have to play at least out of the three that I've played, you're better off playing two. It did collectibles a little bit better than one. The one had some alright level design. 
if you don't care to completely get the stuff. God, I hate that you have to be you have to go so out of your way to get to where you need to be. Let me check the map. Cause this is not really fun to look at. Alright, I have to go through the river, it seems. Don't know if that fence is going to be there the whole way. Probably is, so I think I have to take the road. Sure, let's just go on ahead. Why are the trees rising? Is this just poppin'? Cause that looks really awful. Like just to see the trees rising because of it. Anyway, I actually did do that this task, like kill like ten enemies in a set amount of time. It gets you like hundreds of opals, nothing too special. I don't think anyone would complain about free money, but if you already got the uh, ring chassis, you, you can just post by the rest of the game. Maybe I have to buy certain weapons for the Bunya, but that'll likely be all. I didn't even know I was taking that much damage. Like, you don't even have to pay attention because there's no consequences for it. Other than just sit there for like five seconds before you can do anything. Oh look, the trees are doing it again. Yikes! I can't say anything good about that. And this was be an HD remaster of a 6th gen game. Line Dingo's block, so this must be the place. So this is gonna be like a third hub? Guess we'll find out. Hi. Oh, I don't think so, Mrs. Goody Two Boots. Why don't you shut those lizard lips and... Hey, what's going on? Cass lover here thinks she can get more quinkin than me. She's delusional. That's enough. You guys have got to learn to get along. You've got a job to do. Now, what do we know about this quinkin expert? Well, all your mum told me is that his name is Steve and he's really smart. Uh, yeah. But how will we know when we found him? What does he look like? Don't worry, I'm sure we'll know. Do you smell goober berries? I don't know, we only got two of them in the whole game. I guess if I can have like one critique about the explosions, it makes it much harder to see where you're going. So the honeymoon had to eventually end on this. What the hell? Why did it turn my camera like that? Good thing there's a mini map so I can see where I'm going. Oh hey. Hey you! Wait up! Unfortunately, we had to go around the long way to get to him. If only I had, like, rocket boots or something. What the hell? Did, was, that a, was that an invisible button? It looked like something was sticking out of the wall. Ow. I only just hit my head against a giant boulder, no big deal. 
must be on the right track. No, you watch it. Just learn how to dodge explosions. It's not that hard. Oh, nice. I hit a button. Don't know what it did. Oh, I guess it was... No, it wasn't for this. Probably just for optional stuff. I don't really care. Can't blow up those spikes for some reason. That's kind of pointless. And I'll just open up that door. Oh, at least there are a couple orbs that I have 10 seconds to get. I got him. An ultra stone. But why don't I call them orbs or stones? And the zoom stone. I think he's this way. Just imagine if it actually locked you in. Because <laughs> you didn't get out fast enough. Oh, hello. Here's a random uh, chromium orb that I probably can't reach. He must be getting close. Bunyip cannon controls? Use the right stick to aim the bunyip cannon. Hold X or right trigger to fire the cannon. Quickly tap the X or right trigger to increase the cannon power. Oh, what the hell? How does one of these guys get too close? Good! Like if you take out one, the other ones are gonna be attacking you. Just give it on full, full power the whole time, I guess. And eventually they'll stop flanking. Now you can barely see where they are. the Quinkin expert around here? Hey, Orange Dinosaur. Hey, Yellow Kitties. They didn't follow you, did they? No, but do you know where we can find the Quinkin expert? His name is Dave, too. If we don't find him, we won't be able to stop the Quinking. Oh, uh, no, not him. He's the one who tells them what to do. I better make sure my goober juice is safe. Hang on a sec. How do you know about the Quinking? When you say they... Have you been talking about the Quinkin all this time? Are you Steve the Quinkin expert? I told you they were coming, but you didn't go hide your berries, did you? Then you know how to stop them. Who them? Shh, they'll hear you. If you tell us how we can stop the Quin King, we'll make sure they never bother you again. Okay, I'll tell you a story. Way, way long ago, when this land was much hotter, the Monday before last Friday, no, before that even. One million years ago, in the Jurassic Age, that's when they came. They did stupid things. They smashed up their hills and drank all the rivers. I didn't like them. Nuh-uh. So I gathered up the shadow stones and a whole big pile of goober berries. Mmm, goober berries. After they were all gone, I buried the shadow ring in a very hot place. So why haven't you dug it up and used it to get rid of them again? 
I've been hiding so they can't find my goo-boo juice. Plus, I've been too busy looking for my goo-boo juice. Plus, I can't remember where I hid it. Well, you said it was somewhere hot. Did I? Oh, I remember now. It was Kakaboom Island. Quick, let's go. Thanks, Gooby Steve. <laughs> Funny little orange rats. So, you're sure that's where the shadow ring is hidden? I'm positive, mate. Looks like we're off to Kakaboom Island then. Are you sure you want to go, Fluffy? It's going to be dangerous. Kakaboom Island is an active volcano full of boiling hot lava and sharp owie rocks. Hmm. Sounds like my kind of place. Let's go, partner! That clown down at the race arena, Rusty, uh, Rabbit, or, or whatever his name is, just called. He wanted to challenge you to a one-on-one -on -one race. I told him you didn't have time, but if you want to go and destroy his dreams, it's no feathers off my back. Hmm, tempting. But how the hell do you get that chromium orb anyway? There's nothing to climb on. What if I use a... No, that doesn't work. Oh, wait a minute. What did that even do? Oh, hold on. That was weird. I guess we'll have to get a move on then. Sadly, we have to walk all the way back to do this. But it should be a little bit quicker. Wait, why can't I... Excuse me? What? <laughs> that was strange. Let's just forget about that and move on. That's in the way so I can't even jump across it, really. Why would you deny me a shortcut that I could use? That is lame balls. Also, what's going on with the camera angle here? I don't like this. Stop that. Okay, so should I bother to do the race? Just to get it out of the system? I mean, I don't even know if it's a mission you have to do. Open for me, thank you. Saying we have to go to one of the yellow stars that I've already revealed. So where I am here, to get to that, I have to go... Okay, let me look at that. Turn right, get on the road, jump off the road, get back onto the river. Okay, I can do this. Again, I wish the map was a little less convoluted for getting around. They just make it as frustrating as possible. Rather than just make it easy to sort out where you need to go to. 
I don't know why they can't just do that. Wait. I think I should go back to Cassopolis, take the bus back to to New Burmudgy. So I think that might take me to a much more convenient location. Boy, am I glad to see you? I'm not. <laughs> Yeah, I think this way is a little bit better. I think? Is that better? Or is this worse? How's it going, Tiger? Honestly, I feel like we don't need to spend much on money, like, spend much with our money ever again. Okay, this is better. This is where we need to go. See, this overworld's a little less annoying. I mean, yes, there's still going around, but it's better. Then the previous place, oh, well, that's my fault for this damage. I'll own up to that. Yes! I, I know there's towers, but yeah, please destroy that picket fence! We all know that's the real threat in this game. Fuck's sake. Up your priorities, man. Yeah, you take damage from the lasers, even if you don't flinch from that. Fair enough, I guess. Okay, this looks like the story mission. Well, it looks like the Quinkin found out about thylacine somehow. Funny, that. But it's nothing we can't handle, mate. We've been in stickier situations. That's right. So how about we stop the gas bagging and get on board? We'll show those Quinkin what for, hey chaps? I didn't even know you were on the jet with us, Ranger Ken. Destroy the nine f Quinkin flying fortresses as quickly as possible. Watch out for the Spider Queen. Oh, okay. Oh my god, I almost, like, did a freaking invasive maneuver inside of a ship. How the hell are those spiders still going? How am I not, how am I not in any position to hit any of them? What the hell even hit me? Look at the size of them. I didn't even know I was still being hit there. The annoying thing about those ships is they stick to you the whole damn time. And they never leave you alone. And even if you dodge them, they're still hitting you! Down, Mike. Where the hell is the other fortress? Uh, oh, there it is.
we? Well, I guess you guys are. I got my own issues to deal with, sorry. I like how you just like throw bombs at the trees. Oh my god. They just fly into you on purpose because they know they can. God, these missions just kind of suck for me. Fuck you! It's like they stay behind you. The entire time, there's nothing you can do about it. Like, even if you try to do a dodge, they're still gonna find a way to stay behind you. I didn't even know those things shot missiles. That's me to find that out now. Oh my god, it's still locked onto me! It's another one! I guess those ships just keep on coming infinitely, do they? Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm gonna stay away from the missiles! I swear to god, if those missiles actually keep following you until they blow up in your face, I would have been really upset. Where they make it impossible to avoid getting hit by them. I think I just stopped the missile launcher at least. Oh god, they. That one just spawned out of nowhere! So I guess sometimes the ships can do that. Shit! Failed! Do it all over! Well, now I gotta do it all again! How the frick do you hit this one? There was like one spot that was like closest to the wall. So it's nearly impossible to aim at properly. Alright, seems like the best thing for me to do now is just grab power-ups in the hopes that I get a warp. That's not exactly a great way to go about things, but it's a thing you can do. Or just hope you can get more health. The warp itself, I, I don't even know what it can do for me in this context. I guess I should appreciate that it exists. Except I don't.
That's better. Okay, this should be the winning run at least. Because at least it's uh, seven flying fortresses and no lives gone. Nope, that's not even the last pod. That's the last pod. Alright, I did it. We did it! Ha ha! You little ripper, mate! The townies of Thylacine owe you a great debt of gratitude, sir. I've never seen such heroic flying. Ah, just doing my job. No need to be modest, mate. This victory will boost morale all over Southern Rivers. Oh, I don't know about that. Not only that, the echoes of your bravery will extend to the far reaches of the universe. Evildoers everywhere will cower at your name. Justice will be seen on the faces of newborn babes. The wind itself will appear for the liberation of... They'll do. Yeah, let's not go crazy, mate. Fair enough. I did that for a zoom stone. That clown at the race arena, Rash, I think his name is, still wants to challenge you to a race. The race is a mandatory mission. Get the hell out of here, game. A race is mandatory. And this has nothing to do with the shadow rain. What even? That doesn't even make sense in any context. Here I am. I heard you had a challenge for me. You got that right. I challenge you to a race. One on one. Man to man. Mono a mono. With Red Back Jack. What? And, uh... Also with Redback Phil and me. And just to make it interesting, no power-ups time. Come on, Belvedere. It'll be fun. You're so gone. Earn the respect of the Redbacks by defeating him in a race without using any power-ups. Why are they even on the map then? Oh, I guess nothing. Oh, oh, they use power ups, but I can't. Unreal. Well, at least they're blowing themselves up. But here I was thinking it'd just be three on one. No, there's other racers, too. Wait, I'm in sixth place. This is lame. Oh, I get it. When I drive over them, nothing happens. I don't even see where the shortcuts are on this course. So I'm just gonna have to drive good. As long as I'm really far ahead, they can't hit me with projectiles. See you at the finish line! Yeah, at the finish line! Toy smell! Oh great, now I'm at fifth! Okay, now third, but still! A couple slip-ups and you really get set back. Hand 
Good thing I see where one shortcut is. Eat dirt, rat boy. But I think I can still go fast enough. But it'd be no big deal if I miss it. Good, 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 good. Does that laser stay there for the whole race? Does that affect everyone? Yeah, so I really can't afford to miss any of the uh, turbos. Okay, I won. Pretty much a whole second, too. I beat Fluffy. We lost. This is all your fault, Red Beck Jack. Yeah, you had nothing. Leave me alone, Rose. Rose? <laughs> I'll never live this down. This is it, mate. The big one. If you survive Kakaboom Island and return with the Shadow Ring and Shadow Stones, you'll be able to save Southern Rivers from the Flood of Quinken. Fluffy's going with you. We're all in this together. Good luck, mate. Okay. So I gotta go all the way over there, it seems. Oh well. Anyway, I think this would be a good time to save. We got 65% of the game beat. Nice. So in the next episode, we'll go to Kakaboom Island. See everyone. Thanks for watching.